The Shadows of Silver Creek In the dusty town of Silver Creek, nestled deep in the heart of the Wild West, the year was 1878. The sun beat down mercilessly on the parched earth, and the air was thick with the scent of sagebrush and gunpowder. The town was a haven for outlaws and drifters, where the law was as scarce as water in the desert. Wyatt Dusty and McGraw, a former Union soldier turned bounty hunter, rode into town. His horse, a sturdy Mustang named Thunder, kicked up clouds of dust with each step. Dusty's eyes, sharp as a hawk's, scanned the town for any sign of trouble. As he tied Thunder to the hitching post outside the Rusty Spur saloon, Dusty couldn't shake the feeling that he was being watched. He pushed through the saloon doors, the creak of the hinges announcing his arrival. Inside, the saloon was a cacophony of noise. Dusty made his way to the bar, where the barkeep, Mabel, greeted him with a nod. What'll it be, Dusty, she asked, her voice as smooth as silk. Whiskey, Mabel. And keep her M coming, Dusty replied, his voice gravelly from the trail dust. As he sipped his drink, Dusty couldn't help but overhear a conversation at a nearby table. A group of ranchers were talking in hushed tones about Silas Black Jack Boone, a ruthless cattle baron who ruled Silver Creek with an iron fist and a posse of cutthroats. Dusty's jaw tightened. He'd heard enough about Boone to know that the man was as crooked as a dog's hind leg. Just then, the saloon door swung open with a bang, and in strode Black Jack Boone himself, flanked by his henchmen. The room fell silent, and all eyes turned to the imposing figure. Boone's eyes locked onto Dusty's, and a sinister smile spread across his face. Well, well, if it ain't Dusty McGraw, Boone drawled, his voice dripping with malice. Heard you been sniffing around my business. That ain't healthy, friend. Dusty stood up slowly, his hand hovering near his holster. I'm no friend of yours, Boone. And this town ain't big enough for the both of us. Boone's smile vanished, replaced by a look of cold fury. Then I reckon one of us is gonna have to leave, feet first. The tension in the saloon was thicker than molasses. Dusty knew this showdown had been a long time coming. He just hoped he was quick enough to end it before more blood was spilled. The showdown at Silver Creek was the stuff of legend. Dusty and Boone faced off in the dusty street, their hands twitching near their guns. The townsfolk watched from behind shuttered windows, holding their breath. In the blink of an eye, the silence was shattered by the crack of gunfire. Dusty's aim was true, and Boone fell to the ground, his reign of terror finally over. Dusty stood over him, his heart pounding like a runaway stagecoach. As the dust settled, Dusty knew that the battle was won, but the war within himself was far from over. The ghosts of his past, the memories of the Civil War and the loss of his family, still haunted him. But he had brought justice to Silver Creek, and that was something. He mounted thunder and rode out of Silver Creek, leaving behind a town that would remember his name for generations. As he rode, he thought about the affirmation he carried with him, even in the darkest of times, a single act of courage can light the way to a brighter future. He knew that he would carry the shadows of Silver Creek with him, but he also knew that he had done the right thing. And that was enough. If you are enjoying adventures in the Old West, hit the subscribe button for future posts.